Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your ninth Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can read and write files using the Node core module FS. Alright then campus, so we're getting into the cool stuff right now. We're going to do one of the better things that Node can do for us or the more exciting things it can do for us and that is reading and writing files on our computer. So to do this, we're going to need the help of one of Node.js's core modules, and that module is called FS. So let's go ahead and create a variable, call this FS, and set that equal to require. And then remember, when we require one of Node.js's core modules, we just pop the name of the module in there. So it's called FS. And this right here is a typical naming convention when we require modules. We generally set the variable name equal to the module name. Okay, so what can this FS module do for us? Well, it can do quite a lot of different things, but in this tutorial, we're just going to focus on reading and writing files. So let's read a file first, and we need a file to read. So I'll create one in this directory. I'll right click this Node.js playlist and go to new file and call this dude readme.txt. So this is just a simple text file. And then in here, I'll say, yay, you read me. Okay, so let's save that dude, and now we want to go out and read this file. So the way we do this is by saying fs, and then saying read file sync. This is the method that we're going to use on this fs module that can go out and read this file. And this right here is Node being very explicit in its method's name. This is a synchronous method meaning that if we had any code underneath here, it's going to go out and fully read this file before it moves on to any other code. So this is blocking code. We're blocking the flow of the code until this is complete. There is an asynchronous version of this, which I'm going to look at later on, but for now, this one will do. So we need to pass through a couple of parameters here. The first one is going to be the file itself. Now, this can either be the full path to the file, or because it's in the same folder as us, I'm just going to pop in readme.txt, and it's going to find it, because it's relative to this file right here. Okay, so the second parameter I need to pass through is the character encoding, because we're dealing with binary data here. When we go out and read a file, we're dealing with binary data, which is just zeros and ones. And the character encoding is going to basically determine what all those zeros and ones mean and convert them into the letters that we understand. So the encoding in this case is going to be UTF-8. So let's save that. And what we're going to do, in fact, is store this in a variable, the results of this operation. So it's going to go out and read the file and store what it reads in a variable for us. And we'll call this readme. And then down here, let's go ahead and log this to the console. So I'll log that variable readme to the console. Save it and let's fire up this dude, node app. And now we see that text logged to the console. So the FS module has gone out and read this file synchronously and used this encoding to store the file contents in this variable. And then we've logged that to the console. Pretty cool, right? So now what I want to show you is how we can write a file. So what I'm going to do is read this file, first of all, store it in this variable. Then I'm going to take the contents of that variable and write it to a new file over here. So let's do that. Let's get rid of the console log for now. And then instead, let's use another method on this FS module. And this method is going to be called write file sync. So again, this is a synchronous operation and we'll look at the asynchronous version in a minute. So in here, what we need to do is say where we want the file to be written to, first of all. Now I'm gonna say I want this written to writeme.txt. And then the second parameter that we need to pass through is the data we want to write to this file. And that's just gonna be this dude right here, readme, the stuff that we read from this file. So let's pass it in as the second parameter and save that. So now when I run this application, node app, we're not gonna see anything in the console, but we do see this other file, write me, created now, and this contents has been dumped into it. 
So once more, we've gone out and we've read a file synchronously and we've stored the contents of that file in this variable. Then, once that's complete, we've moved on to the next line because this is synchronous and we've used a second method on this FS module. And the second method is write file sync. So we're gonna write a file now. The name of the file we want to write is writeme.txt and the contents of that file that we want to put in is in this variable readme, which we passed as a second parameter. So then it's gonna wrote this file and dump the contents of it in this file right here. Pretty cool, yeah? All right, so now let's look at the asynchronous versions of these methods. So all we need to do is first of all, get rid of that variable. We don't need that anymore. And then take away the sync part. And now this is gonna be an asynchronous request or an asynchronous method. And because it's asynchronous, we need a callback function to fire when the process is complete. And that is the third parameter in this method. So we'll pop a function here. And this function can take two parameters. First, an error, if there is one, if there's a problem with this method. And then second, the data that we retrieve, that we read from the file, okay? So let's go ahead and in there, let's delete this for now. In there, let's log to the console, the data that we retrieve. Save that and run it again, node app. And we still get that contents. So it's still doing the same thing. It's reading the file then it's firing the function once it's read the file and we're passing the data that it's read to the function which will log into the console. But the better thing about this is that we're not blocking the code. While this is doing the reading, if there was extra code down here, then this would still fire while it's reading the data. And I can demonstrate that. I'll say console.log and I'll just put test in here save this and run the app again, node app, and we see test first, and then yeah, you read me, even though this is after this. So we're starting this, but because it's asynchronous, then we're carrying on through the code while the file is being read. Then once it's fully read, we fire the callback function, okay? So we can do the same thing with write file. Let's do it inside here because we only want to write the file once this is fully read. So we'll say fs.write file and then we need to say which file we want to write to. So let's go ahead and delete this for now. We'll start fresh and write it. And the file is going to be writeme.txt like so. And the data we want to write to that file is going to be this thing, data. So let's paste that in there as well. So if we save that and node app, then we're gonna see this file again written right here. But this is now non-blocking code. It's asynchronous, meaning that other code down here will fire while this happens in the background. And this is really good because if you've got multiple requests on your website and you're running asynchronous code, then it's gonna be much quicker. Whereas if you're running synchronous code and you've got multiple requests, it's gonna delay that code because we have to wait for each request to be carried out first. So this is a much better way of doing most things. All right, so that's how we read and write files in Node.js. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise guys, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.